Hello, my name is Justin Willis and I am a software engineer here at Microsoft. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how easy it is to get started building a progressive web app using the PWA Builder PWA Starter. Um, first, we will start off with setting up our uh, development environment. Um, we'll just need a couple of tools for that. It's really not much at all. Um, the first tool we'll need is called Git. So what Git does is it's basically going to allow you to clone this repo that we're going to need from a site called GitHub. And then you could use that in the future to collaborate with others on your project. And it gives you a nice way to kind of keep those collaborations nice and clean and easy to, uh, to work with. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. All you need to do to download it um, if you're on Windows is just hit this nice download for Windows button. And you can get it from the URL up here above, which is um, git-scm.com. Once you have that installed, um, the next tool you will need to install is called Node.js. So Node.js is a JavaScript runtime that basically is going to allow us to run our local build tools that we'll need to run, which are built with JavaScript. So we need some kind of runtime to run them. Um, I recommend the LTS for most users as it is going to be the most stable. Um, same as before as you know, with installing Git, it's normally just one button click, you hit here, and then it will start um, downloading to your machine. Um, the place you get this from is nojs.org. Um, so yeah, just go here. Hit the LTS button and you will have Node installed on your machine. And finally, we need some kind of code editor, right? So we have some like development tools um, installed and now we would need a code editor that we can start, um, start editing with. So we recommend using VS Code. VS Code has a lot of really cool extensions you can use that make building PWAs easier, just building web apps in general easier. Um, and yeah, it's also cross-platform. It can run on any, any OS, including Windows. Um, to in install it, all you need to do is go to code.visualstudio.com and then you can just follow the instructions here. It's just, a, it's just a button click, just like all the other ones, and then it will start installing to your device. Um, so yeah, once you have these three tools installed, and by the way, I just haven't hit the download buttons because I already have the tools installed. Um, but yeah, once you have these tools installed, the first thing I like to do is just check that uh, Git and Node actually installed correctly and that we can um, you know, use them from our command line. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using Windows Terminal, but you can use whatever terminal comes built into your operating system. Um, so to figure out if Node is installed, we'll do Node dash dash version. As you can see here, I have Node installed. If this does not return anything, or it will most likely say something like this executable, or since I'm using WSL here in Linux, um, this uh, command could not be found. Um, in that case, that means that Node wasn't installed. Um, and that you may need to go back and um, hit that download button again. Um, you could do the same with Git. So we'll just do Git dash dash version. And you can see here, I now have Git installed. Um, so at this point, we're ready to go grab a copy of our starter. So the PWA starter, and I'll go to it here in Edge real quick. So if you've ever used any other web framework like Angular or React, for example, so React has something called Create React App. Um, this is a CLI tool that they have that lets you kind of set up an app that you can go ahead and start coding on and editing. Um, and it you know takes care of setting up all the kind of complicated things for you, the build processes, that kind of stuff. Um, Angular also has something similar with the Angular CLI. Um, for our PWA starter, it's not a CLI. It's actually just a GitHub template repo. So GitHub has these cool things called template repos that I'll kind of show you here in a minute. But real quick, um, before we get started here, the first thing you will need to know is that you will need a GitHub account. So if you don't already have one, you can go to github.com and it will um, guide you through making an account. It's really easy and it only takes a few minutes. It's also free. All right, once you have your GitHub account, we'll be ready to set up our code base. So for this, we'll be using the PWA starter, um, as I mentioned before. All we'll need to do is hit this use this template button. So because this is a GitHub template repo, it's got some kind of like special workflows to it. Um, so as you can see here, all I had to do to hit is hit that button. And now it's going to be asking for our repository name. Normally that's your app name. Um, I'll do Hack Ohio here um, to actually, since I already have one, um, you can also enter a description here if you want. And then I'll hit create repository from templates. So this is going to create a code repository that is a copy of that code repository, the PWA starter on our own personal account. So now we have an app we can get started building. Um, so this sets you up with all the things you can, you might need to start getting built, uh, building a PWA. Um, it sets you up with a, a framework of our choice, which is lit. Um, for all of that kind of information, I'm not going to cover that here in the video, but what you can do is go down here to our README 
and hit documentation and you can kind of read through here and get the live demo. Also, we have our getting started instructions here in text if you want it to. Um, but yep, now we're ready to get um, started coding. So the next thing you'll need to do is hit this code button and then we'll be ready to clone our GitHub repo. So I'm gonna hit the copy button there. This is where we're gonna use git. Um, so I'll open up my terminal, type in git clone, and then I'll paste the, um, the uh, URL to that repo. So what this is going to do is clone this repository to our device locally so that we can open it up in VS Code and start editing and running the app. So now that we've got it in there, I'll go to Hack Ohio 2 with CD. As you can see, I'm in here. I'll now hit code and then dot, which is going to open it up in VS Code. So we'll give this just a second to download. All right, so at this point, we have our application ready in VS Code and we can start coding on it. Um, the other thing you'll need is also to make sure you have a terminal. So there is a terminal built into VS Code, um, but you can also just use the, um, the terminal that we already have open here. So the first thing I'll actually need to do is run npm install. So what this is going to do is install our dependencies that we'll need um, to get started coding. All right, and now that we have it installed, um, we can do npm run dev to get our development server running. So I'll run that. And this is going to open it up in our web browser so that we'll see our application running for the first time, which is pretty exciting. And as you can see here, it's opening. First build um, normally will take just a second, um, especially when I'm recording my screen at the same time. Um, but yeah, so now we have our application running in our browser um, and we are ready to start coding.